friend. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Ginger. I'm a priest with the Celtic Christian Church. Welcome to Coffee Break Prayer. And this morning, um, I'd just like to offer up a prayer of hope and blessing for the people of Darfur and for anyone, including you and me, who might have any influence over what's happening there. People in that area have suffered unbelievably. It's just hard to believe that war is breaking out again. So um, let's just lift up the beautiful images of God in Darfur, Sudan, and all those who may have influence over what happens there. I feel like over the decades with Sudan and Darfur, the whole world has watched in horror and yet here we are again, you know, so like people in Darf Darfur could barely be like, you are watching this. What are you doing? So let's pray not only that they would be protected in the moment, but that God would stir in every person who has influence. Even those of us who think that, what can we do? We have nothing to do with this. Just stir within us the spirit of action. And justice. Let's begin as always in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come Holy Spirit and help us to pray. And when we come to you with grief or agitation or anger or any strong emotion, our bodies have trouble quieting down. And that's okay. You are with us at all times, and prayer is a lifting of the heart. We don't even need words. Our very grief cries out to you, Abba, Abba. Help us now, in this moment, to take a couple breaths to come back to now, so that we can encounter Jesus, Emmanuel, God with us, right here, right now. And I invite you just to take a couple breaths to help you come back to this moment. Where are your feet, for example? Just notice what are your feet doing? What do your elbows feel like? It sounds silly, but that attention to our bodies helps us come back to this moment. Holy Spirit, we invite you to flood the world anew, to flood each one of us afresh. And we ask your blessing of protection and hope. Oh God, it feels so awful just to even like Pray these words and be like, yes, amen. Go off about my day. Seriously, Hava. Oh, Holy Spirit, have mercy. Mercy on your children in Darfur. Have mercy, Lord. These are the children and grandchildren of genocide survivors. Oh, my God, have mercy. Mercy on them. And we invite you to stir up the hearts of every single person in Darfur, in Sudan, every single person who has access to a weapon, especially those in the military forces and the guerrilla forces or whatever you want to call, call them, but Lord, be with them and, sorry, be with them and stir their hearts with compassion. Help them to recognize the human beings around them as your image, as your beloved children. Come, Holy Spirit. May their guns just refuse to fire. May they drop their knives. May women and girls just slip out of their grasp and escape to safety. Come, Holy Spirit. Let there be food and water for 
each of your children. And in this same spirit of hope, we ask for the grace of courage and wisdom for all those who are trying so desperately to be your hands in Darfur, for all the doctors, all the agencies, all the anti-hunger groups, all the humanitarian people who are there trying to mitigate, trying to heal, trying to bring peace. We ask your power and your wisdom, and that the whole world would not just gasp in horror, but that we would stop the violence, bind up the wounds, feed the hungry, and bring your healing love and peace to this place where the blood surely cries out of the ground to you. Mercy, Abba. Mercy on your children in Darfur. Mercy on each and every one of us who watches. Come Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit. And activate your children. To seek peace in the world. That real practical peace. Amen. Thank you for joining me for this very imperfect prayer. And... Um, as you read the news and you hear about things happening in the world, such as what happens in Darfur, I know part of my reaction is to be like, oh, I just can't. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my. I get just like, how can this be going on? We read about what's happening in Ukraine, in the Middle East, all over the world. What happens to children? and families, and communities, and individuals in our own neighborhoods, our own nations, and it must be. And the Lord says, yes, how can it be? Let's, let's work on this together. So may you be blessed as God calls you to be a maker of peace in your corner of the world. May you be blessed with wisdom, practical wisdom, the know-how to get things done that Biblical wisdom is, may you be blessed with courage. May you be protected as you seek to protect others. May you be just flooded with a deep sense of God's love for you. And may that love overflow from you into the world. Be blessed, dear one, in every way you need. In the name of the Father and the Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>